I'm a university librarian at Vanderbilt University. The library system, it's the Gene and Alexander Heard Libraries, roughly nine libraries across um, the entire Vanderbilt campus, um, and multiple research entities, including the Television News Archive, um, the Slave Society Digital Archive, and our new McGee Applied Research Center for Narrative Studies. Initially, we've been using a AWS for a really long while, mostly for storage, um, mostly to have our digital assets in a really safe and scalable environment. The TV News Archive consists of ABC, NBC, CBS, dating back to the late 60s, and then picking up Fox News and CNN in the 80s and early 90s, and today covering additional networks like Newsmax and MSNBC. We would record the news at nighttime and then abstractors and indexers, staff, would look at it the next day. And they would describe it themselves and, and create records for each thing. And it was a very onerous process because like, it would stack up over time and it almost created backlogs for us. And then we were like, we have 62,000 hours of news coverage. How are we going to get through this? And we mapped it out in traditional means and it would have taken decades, literally, for us to describe and transcribe everything that was there. Then we worked with the AWS Transcribe product, and we were able to get through it all roughly in two months. And so it was this, this momentous change that we were like, wait a second, we have actually this portal into the past now. What could we do that would be innovative, that would also be extensible models for us to use on other projects? We came up with a process to not only transcribe the news in real time, but also break out each segment of of each news story and then describe it with AI. And it, it just was so much better and consistent than what we were doing ourselves that we were actually able to automate our entire process. And now the people who were the former abstract index are the reviewers. And it's a much faster, simpler process. Um, and it's more efficient. And we've been able to scale up to all those additional networks because the people are reviewing rather than creating in our biomedical library, we're asked something on the realm of a thousand questions a day from people, from, from clinicians, researchers. We sent all of our written answers to Amazon. And we are like, here are the questions that were asked. Here are the answers that we have. Can we create an AI chatbot to answer these questions pretty much on demand? By leveraging the AI chatbot in our biomedical library, our staff are able to engage in a much deeper and more meaningful way with researchers. And the training to get, on, to get on board with learning how to interact with the environment has been roughly a week or two. I mean, it's pretty seamless engagement that we've had with staff that have interacted with it. So, so many more of our staff are getting AWS certified in a variety of, you know, a variety of ways in the stack so that they can better interact with the system in more complicated ways. One of the most important projects that we're working on right now is this um, Slave Society Digital Archive. And what this is essentially creating is a genealogy for formerly enslaved individuals and their families. We've been digitizing these handwritten baptismal records, and what it does is it automates the transcription up to a 99% accuracy. We're getting so close to being able to automate that written text to um, optical character recognition and AWS is right on the, the precipice of being able to help us um, have that so that future generations have very easily accessible test, text in addition to these primary sources. It's fascinating that people can actually tie themselves to their roots, and this is, this is stuff that was being lost. The thing for us is we've found so much efficiency by moving pretty much our entire stack to AWS that um, it has been a game changer for us as an organization. We've really um, leveraged AWS to create, um, create and, and pretty much make content available for a global community.